There are hundreds of thousands of people, including tens of thousands of children, who dig by hand. The average used car price for an EV fell nearly 32% in the past year, compared with a decline of just over 3% for gas-powered cars. These cars are causing growing trade tension between China on one side and the US and Europe on the other. This video is not about how electric cars are not the answer and how we can prevent them from happening. Let's be honest, we can't. We'll build out the first ever national network of 500,000 electric vehicle charging stations. Now, I also won't say that gas cars are better than electric cars. They are both just as bad. Traffic jams, air pollution, to name a few issues out of so many. Let's address the elephant in the room quickly. See, EV car batteries are comprised of six major materials, lithium, manganese, cobalt, graphite, steel, and nickel. Cobalt costs between $10 to $15 per pound, which is around $30,000 per ton. But the kids working in those mines only get $2.5 a day. The U.S. Department of Labor estimates that at least 25,000 children are working in the cobalt mines in Congo. That's where half of the world's supply of cobalt comes from. Where should I even start from? Unstable structures, lack of proper training, and safety standards. Cobalt dust inhalation can cause lung disease and asthma, while chronic exposure can lead to skin problems and even heart issues. Now you know what goes into a battery, but did you know that CO2 emissions for manufacturing that battery range from 2,400 kilograms and 16,000 kilograms, which is 16 metric tons? And just how much is one ton of CO2, you ask? as much as a typical gas-powered car emits in about 2,500 miles of driving, just about the same weight as a great white shark. Even though each battery has a lifespan of around 100,000 miles, the real issue is the running cost of that battery. Looking at the bigger picture, with more electric cars on the road, we will be more electricity source reliant. To this day, coal remains as the dominant fuel for power generation, reaching over 37% of global electricity production. And all of that means we're either gonna have to find out another way of producing electricity and stop relying on coal, or find a different planet to live on. But for argument's sake, let's imagine that we have a clean way of producing electricity and now the roads are full of electric cars. Did you know that a Tesla Model 3 weighs 4,100 pounds? That's 500 pounds more than a medium-sized gas-powered SUV. Electric cars tend to be heavier than traditional gas cars. What happens to your battery when it's too old and it's useless? There are two main problems. First, these batteries contain materials like lithium, nickel, and arsenic that can be dangerous if they're not handled carefully, like the secret sauce that makes the battery work. But if they leak out of a trashed battery, they can pollute the soil and water, kind of like spilling paint everywhere. Second, we're still figuring out the best way to recycle these old batteries. It's like reusable plastic bottles, but on a much more complex level. Now let's talk about some numbers. And don't worry, I'll keep it short. A gas-powered car costs around $30,000, while electric cars can cost between $40,000 to $50,000. According to 2023 data, average Americans make around $60,000 a year. For them, $10,000 is make or break. It's not all bad. First up is the hassle-free ownership of electric cars. That means no engine or brake oil check. For all the car enthusiasts thinking that their big V8 supercars are fast, take a look at the fastest car in the Goodwood Festival, the McMurdy. It's almost a second faster than the second fastest car on that track, which also happens to be an electric car, Volkswagen IDR, and also two seconds quicker than a Formula One car. It's pretty much clear that beating an electric car on a straight or on a track is now impossible for gas-powered cars. In the future, we will have better technology and ways to extract the required materials to make batteries. Let's speak out against the exploitation of children and push for sustainable mining and battery production. It's time to find solutions that protect both people and the planet. We might not have all the answers today, but remember, it's humans who find these solutions.